All right, I got another box of moss since the other one was so good. So uh, let's open this one. We've got another Oka cheese filled with tape. So let's open this. And there should be uh, two Polyphemus and one uh, Columbia silk moss. So let's open. Oh, looks like the tape is still stuck. All right, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Oh wait, no, I can do this. Uh, open. <laughs> All right, so. Take away. Ooh, it is much smaller than I thought it would be. So this is Hyalophora, Hyalophora columbia from North America. Oh, and he actually gave me two. This guy is amazing. He keeps giving me gifts. He gave me two Hyalophora species and two um, Polyphemus. So male and female, and I assume male and female as well. Oh, and what's that? There's another one? Un okay. Oh, a gift. Okay. So he gave this as a gift. And... All right, so and another, this is a male of policies. Just gonna remove all the lint. All right, so in total, I've got one male, one female, and another female. Is this the aberrant female? No, this is just a regular female. Um, so, and two Columbia silk moths. And this is, I can't read that. I don't know what that says. So instead of getting three moths, I got five moths. So let's open these uh these things here and take a better look at them. All right, so this is the first uh, Columbia silk moth, but sadly, one of the wings is uh, broken on the top here. But that is no problem. I mean, it is an extra one, and it's already like hydrated. It's so humid and muggy in here. Like, I could probably pin this right now. Like. Look, look how flexible the wings are already, but of course I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna hydrate it still like all the others. Now let's open all the, the four others. Alright, so this one is in perfect condition. So we got this one, which is in a mediocre condition. This one is much drier as well. So, yeah. Now let's open the polyphemus. So this one says B for repair. This was the one that the broken one was in. I don't know if he means to repair this one or to use, you know, sometimes you can use other moth's wings to repair the the, the good moth that might be damaged. And also this uh, polyphemus moth is a bit of a little uh, rip here, but that is honestly really not a big deal. I don't care about that. It's a beautiful specimen. And you know, it was found in the wild, so you can't really help. You can't really have perfect, perfect specimens when, uh, they're capturing the wild. All right, so here are all the moths. Uh, and you hate to, to see it. Um, this male has some grease. And that just happens when the body decomposes. It releases grease and the humidity and heat doesn't really help. That's easy, I just take off the abdomen and put it in some acetone and then it's all good to go. The only thing though is that sometimes it gets on the wings. So some people uh, will actually ship the butterflies with the abdomen separately. Uh, this one didn't really get on the wing, so no worries. All right, so an A-plus review. Beautiful specimens, uh, minimal damage. Of course, uh, except for that one on the other side, but once again, I don't really care. And also the female. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hydrate these and pin them and put them in the collection. So here you can see uh, that the wing is more broken. My suspicions were, suspicions rather, were correct. Um, this one can actually be pinned right now. So I do that right now. Um, here's a sphinx moth from the, that I found. And this should be just about ready. The tiger moth is ready. And um, let's, let's check on the rosy maple moth. You can see that the abdomen is still moving. There's a clear indication that it needs more time. I'm gonna leave this for about another day or two and check back. All right, so let me just pin this. All right, so the Columbia 
is all pinned and I actually noticed right now the wings are a bit asymmetrical I didn't notice the naked eye and the antennae could be a bit more second like this there you go so I'm just gonna adjust this wing real quick all right so this is much better and I'm going to leave this be for about a week or two and then I will uh, take it out and put it into collection. Of course I will have more uh, the other butterflies and moths that I have to pin so I hope I have enough room on my desk. I don't have much room. I'll probably just uh, put rows here of uh, pinning boards. Alright, so I got my moths. I've got a spring sheet and some plastine. And I'm just gonna pin them. I already have this one. Alright, so uh, I'm just gonna pin them. Alright, so all the moths are pinned and nothing went wrong. So that's good. So here you can see the male of Polyphemus. And. The two females of Polyphemus. This one has a bit of a broken wing, but I don't care. And the Columbia on the other Columbia. This one is less colorful than this one, sadly, because this one is really like broken here. This one's less colorful, but it's perfect condition. Most of these are perfect condition. So yeah, I'll uh, leave them to dry here. And I'll go check on them on about a week. Alright, so I've got the Polyphemus Moths all done. You can see this one has beautiful colors. Beautiful pink. It's a little dark around the eyes. It's pretty cool looking. Um, this is the female. Awesome colors. It looks a lot like my first female I had. Though it is a bit larger and the spots on the top of the wings are bigger. Same with the eye spots. And this is the other female I got. You can see it looks pretty gnarly. Uh, the bottom eyes look a bit appar aberrant, but like, and the scales are a bit faded, like the features, compared to the others. So yeah, it's pretty cool specimen. Got that for free. I got here Columbia. So this one is sad because it's broken, but it's more red. This one is a more faded color, but it's also got fat stains, so I'm going to put this in the fat stain remover, I guess. So yeah, beautiful specimens. As you can see the color. This is right next to my Cecropia moth. Is doing pretty well, but it's very asymmetrical. And on the bottom side, you can see uh, it's all oily. I got some patches there for the wings. So, yeah, this is pretty much uh, completed my collection. I might put like a bit more moss down here. Yeah, it's gonna be a this one is beautiful, it's red, but it's broken, but this one's in near perfect condition, but it's got faded. It's also got fat stains, so I'm gonna take care of that. 
I can really see compared to the Sakurokia Moth. So this is a thing, I think this is like a mix between uh, Sacropia and Promethea. So this plus this equals this. Or something like that. But I, I can definitely see the re resemblance to both. It's got the crescent shapes of the Sacropia. It's got the size and the, um, the lines of the, of the Promethea. And it's got, what else? Let's see this one too. Let's compare this one. It's got color that goes all the way down to the outer lines. The contrary of the Scropia, which is just gray and white and black. And yeah, it's just a bit more colorful. Well, it's got more red, that's for sure. All right, but anyway, I'll organize that later. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.